everyone! I've been doing Flutter for a very long while now, it's about 5 years, and I would like to share with you how I would answer to interview questions, if I would do them right now, like in this video. The first question anyone would ask you first is what is Flutter? Or at least in my experience, everyone asks what Flutter is and maybe some advantages to it. The answer is quite simple and is the top of the flutter.dev page and it is flutter is a ui toolkit flutter is a ui toolkit the fact that it can do much more is just a bonus and just off the top of my head some benefits of flutter is cross-platformness but that's why you would choose flutter in the first place because you can make multiple application w applications with the same code you should probably at this point mention that it's not actually the same exact code but it's the same code base between multiple apps because for android and ios you may probably be able to get away with just one code but when you get to web and the desktop windows linux mac os you have to create a different uis if you want things to look good but in principle it's the same code space code base another benefit would be the fact that you can develop really quickly using hot reload and hot restart another advantage the performance is really good i would not want to advertise that it's as good as native but it's really good for what 99 percent of the apps in my opinion need it's really good the fact that is open source is another very very big thing in my opinion and in everyone else's i think because you can understand how it works just by surfing the code you already have on your computer and uh, just one command click on anything and you're just there to the source. Question two would be, what's the difference between hot restart and hot reload? And here, it's not actually a trick question. Uh, it's a good question and uh, it shows that you understand how everything works if you can explain this well. You should do a bit of research on this because it will help your journey as well. But in short, Hot Reload j tries to only change the widgets and keep the state, whereas Hot Restart will reset the whole state of the application, actually rerunning the main function as well. So you could reinitialize dependencies and states as well, as I mentioned. A very common question I received in uh, my interview so far was what packages did you use and how? And it's an interesting question, this one as well. Again, it's made to show your experience with uh, the framework and uh, what you used versus uh, what you didn't. Because if you use some libraries, for example, state management libraries, it shows that you have experience with those, but it as well shows that you quit on the state management given by Flutter by default, uh, which is not actually a problem, but uh, just something to keep in mind. And how you use libraries is um, a very tricky thing that you can try to not touch <laughs> on because what I tend to do is uh, whenever I find a small library or a big library which has a very small or, or limited functionality that I want to use, I would just download the code of the library on my computer on a different project and try to extract just the things I need from that library. What are the different build modes of Flutter? You should obviously know that these are debug, profile and release. And uh, what do you use each one for? Well, let's start from the first one, debug. You would use debug for development of course and uh, trying to get the designs correct trying to get the functionality right in the debug mode uh, because it offers you the flexibility of always reloading restarting the app really quickly giving you incremental updates for anything and on the other side of the spectrum you have the release mode uh, the release mode you would use if you want to ship your client uh, an early version of your application first, but obviously the main use of the release mode is to have everything optimized and ready to ship to production. Uh, what does production mean? Basically Play Store and App Store, or if you're building Windows, Linux, Mac OS, whatever. 
what this does is it packages everything tightly making the binary smaller and uh, you are not supposed to only make uh, apks that are very easy to use you can make a b b or a a b i don't remember the new way of uh, adding stuff to the play store uh, it gets read by default of that debug label that you have on top of your every flower application but you can get rid of that as well just by you know saying that you don't want it and it has a major performance leap if you think that flower applications in debug mode are fast i don't think that but if you do just try running your application in release mode just so you see how fast those lists are scrolling and how smooth they are how well it takes uh, advantage of uh, your high refresh rate basically everything is better in release mode just not development because you lose the hot restart hot reload and uh, proper logging sometimes what's the difference between stateful and stateless widgets well based on the name obviously the addition of state but this also involves something smaller or not smaller but a bit less noticeable at start or just not in the name because what stateful widget adds that stateless widget doesn't have it and it's not state is widget lifecycle methods like like on create on dispose on close and many others and these are very useful for you explain the difference between run app and main function well like in any other proper language excluding python and javascript you need a main function to run any application be it the console application or any other type of application you have to have main in java you have public static void main in c++ you have int main or void main depending on what you want to return i would suppose int main because you want to return zero anyway so that is the entry point of any Dart application in this case. Whereas run application or run app function is the entry point of the Flutter application. Basically initializes everything you need for Flutter and starts helping you render the widgets. What IDE do you use for Flutter? It is indeed an awkward question to ask in an interview, but it says a lot about you because if you say xcode it's clear that you've never written any line of flutter if you say vim you are interesting but i would ask more questions here if you say visual studio code or android studio that would be like 90 something percent of flutter developers so um yeah no further questions here name some applications that use flutter and here the interviewer just wants you to show that you have some interest in the field not just want that random junior role that you see there so some of the companies that use flur so some of the companies that use flur is of course bmw first alibaba and google ads also philips hue if you have a hue like you see here when do you use main axis alignment versus cross axis alignment well, this is not a trick question. You just give an example. So if you have this as a column and you want the text to be in the middle, all you would do is say cross axis alignment middle because the main axis for the column is right down and the cross axis would be horizontal. For row, it will be the other way around. And for the last question of this video, what are the different types of streams? And you would, of course, tell the interviewer that there are two types of streams if you don't include RxDart. And the two types of streams are single subscription stream and broadcast stream. And the difference between them is, as the name says, single subscription is a stream that can be listened only in one place, or it just behaves unexpectedly, or broadcast streams where there is an unlimited number of people that are listening and when would you use one over the other because in this example it looks like you would only want to use broadcast streams just so you don't get unexpected behavior if sometime you just want to listen in another widget well that may be true that for most problems a broadcast stream would work but 
the very nice thing about a single listener stream is that it doesn't even trigger if there is no listener. So keep that in mind when you use it next and uh, just know what to say at uh, your interview.